uh, it's been a long time since I played an Odyssey on video, so let's try this week's Odyssey. So it seems to be just a bunch of more buff maps. So yeah, let's see what we can what we can do with this. Okay, this is the best I could come up with. Let's just jump into it. First one, scrap yeah, with 10k cash, rounds 40 to 80, 300% more speed, but 50% more health. Well, this seems simple enough. We're just going to place a sword out right here. Get a 204 bomb shooter and a 210 village. And let's just see how well we do. Oh my god, that's a really fast web. Um, let's use Sword's ability and then we can use a crusher right here to crush. Oh, that didn't work, but never mind. The bomb, the bomb shooter should be able to catch up. And there we go. So next, we're going to go ahead and get a radar scanner village, followed by a 420 village. This should be pretty hard. This should be hard. Okay, so next we're going to need some anti web defenses. So we're going to dump a dark monkey right here and we're going to get a... Oh, I forgot about tower restrictions in this. Anyway, let's just place an ace right here and set it to figure infinite and let's get a 402 uh, fighter jet. Sorry, ODS because uh, we already have a camel village so we don't need the metal path, do we? Oh, sorry, 401 ace. Alright, let's see how we're going to hold up against BFBs. Well, that's a really quick BFB, and we're holding up against it quite well actually, so I don't think we should have a problem. Yeah, well, that much of a problem, honestly. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and give myself a primary expertise. Why? Just so that it's easier to uh, target mobs, and since there's 50% less health, you know, that's a good thing. And you know what? Since we have some money left, uh, we can go ahead and get a 520 Ultra Juggernaut. Now let's see how well we can handle a zero MG. My god, is it fast. But thanks to the Mega Ballista, we should be able to deal with it no problem. And there we go, that is the first map of this Odyssey. Now let's move on to the next one. Miles 1 to 64 on Bazaar with 650 starting cash and 200% uh, more speed but 50% more health, which is perfectly balanced. So uh, this is going to be slightly more interesting. Uh, we're going to start off by placing Sora down here and we're going to plot down our Dark Monkey right here. And we're just going to start. Now first thing we need to do is to get some camel lead popping power. So we're going to go ahead and get a 020 boat followed by a 022 boat. Um, next we're going to go ahead and get a 204 bomb shooter so that we can deal with the balloons easily. Um, next we're going to place down a village right here and we're going to get a 120 village so that we can give our bomb shooter camel detection. Now don't forget, we still have to get some anti web defenses, so we are going to get an ace. Well, wrong cost path, I meant to get a 400 ace, which I think we should be able to afford, at least a 300 ace should do fine. Okay, so for 140, we're going to use Sona Sword Ability, and then voila, we now have pop the fortified web class balloon but we're not done yet first we're still going to get ods just so that it's faster to pop the web class balloon and secondly we're going to go ahead and get ourselves an ultra juggernaut again and now we can afford the ultra juggernaut which should give us that much more web problems and now we're going to go ahead and buff our tummy monkeys a little bit more by getting a 4 to 0 village okay this time we're on quarry while well, 21 to 85 but uh, same uh, conditions, 200% more speed, but 50% more health. So, uh, once again, we're going to start off with Sword Up. We're going to place her here, and we're going to get a Bomb Shooter right here, and upgrade it to a 204. Okay, next, we're going to go ahead and place a village, and same as before, we're going to get a 220 village. Now we still need some anti web defense, so we're going to go ahead and get a 400 ace. Oh, actually, I think we can only afford a 300 ace, but that should be fine. And don't forget to use Horace ability so that we can pop the web in time. And now, this time, we're going, we can afford the 400 ace. And once again, we are going to get a primary expertise as early as we can. So, for our time being, let's go ahead and get a 400 uh, village, followed by another. Uh, 240 bomb just so that we can sorry 204 bomb just so that we can uh, pop as much moves as we can before then finally a primary expertise and this should last us for quite some time but we're not done yet we can get ourselves a bomb blitz which um, I know is the best tower but trust me it deals enough damage to last until round 85 and voila what did I tell you wasn't that bad, wasn't it? Now let's move on to the fourth island. Okay, so this is a lot more interesting. Military only, 81 to 95, but same restrictions, 100% more speed, but 50% more health, and 
100,000 starting cash which is a lot more than you usually get if you just play 1, 1 to 80 normally. So this should be quite fun. Uh, now we're going to start off by um, dumping soda here I guess. And since we're dealing with DDTs, we are also going to get uh, Sky Shredder but with Spy Plane and set to Flicker Infinite. Mm. What else can we get? We can also decamo the DTs by getting a Summer Chain Support Star, but 302, and of course, for some synergy, we can also get a 502 Crow's Nest. But I do believe we need a little bit of help, so we're going to go ahead and get a 203, and we're going to upgrade to a 204 Comanche Defense. I don't think we're going to have enough for 205, but a 204 Comanche should be decent enough for most things. So, with that, let's get this party started. Okay, now it's time for the test. How well does this do against the DTs? Okay, not bad. So um, I'll take it that this defense works, and um, we might actually be able to fork Comanche Commander. So let's pray that we could. And we can, and we just have one more round to go, round 95 after this. Okay, so I had to get upgrade my sub to a Plutonium Reactor in order for this defense to work. But still, it worked. And there we go, Island 4 completed. Now, one last island. Yeah, Sora is probably not the best uh, hero for this island, but I do it once on 65, 12, 50 starting cash with the same modifiers except we have no monkey knowledge this time. So, um, let's see, let's see. Okay, so this one I've managed to work out so far. We can start off with a 002 Dark Monkeys at these places, and we're going to go ahead and get a 200 sub. We can go ahead and get a 002, sorry, a 202 uh, sub. And um, that way it should pop a little bit more balloons. So another sub, but this time we have gotten a 230 ballistic missile. Reason is we need something to pop the lids with, don't we? So yeah, this is the best that I could come up with so far, but I still think we could improve on this. And so our anti war defense, I've gotten a 420 uh, ODS, so that should be able to do just fine against one class moves. And we're also going to go ahead and upgrade our sub because we need something to pierce the cell mix with. So um, let's go ahead and get a 204. And now the moment of truth, does it work against white class balloons? Close, close. But since we still have some level of money, it means that we could improve on this. Let's start by getting a second. Uh, ODS, but this time a 400. So let's see how it does this time. Much better. Alright, so uh, now we're going to go ahead and upgrade this to a spy plane. Now, to maximize my range, I have decided to sell my Dark Monkey. Place from here and place it there because I'm going to go ahead and get a boat here and here as well. As for over here, uh, this area, I think a 010 engineer should be able to provide enough range to uh, cover this middle ground area so that we won't uh, lapse in terms of our defense and uh, yeah you know what i'm going to get rid of this uh, vehicle uh i uh, spent one thousand five hundred dollars but uh, yeah there we go and now it's, it clears the path for the sub to you know attack in the middle area so now this time we're going to go ahead and get a 420 boat on here and uh, hopefully we have enough money and time to make this work and we can get it by 149, not bad. So, uh, now we're going to go ahead and do the same on the other side. There we go, two aircraft carriers. And now, um, I think we need to give some of our towers camo detection because I'm not entirely sure whether two camo aces is good enough. So, uh, we're going to pop down two villages one at a time. We're going to get a 020 radar scanner and that should be enough. In case you guys are wondering why I placed it, it is right next to the boat. So uh, it should be able to provide uh, more than enough uh, camo detection. And yeah, let's see whether this lasts until 165. Ooh, completely forgot about 163. Oops. Um, no matter, a 204 long shooter should be able to solve our problem. So let's see whether it can survive against one way of cell mix. And the answer is... Uh, Yes, it can just barely. So um, I suppose we can support it a little bit with a tech shooter. Yeah, I think uh, four zero zero wing of five would do fine. I mean, we could get more techs. Um, and yeah, there we go. Um, that's how we solve round sixty three. Ooh, okay. So the two VIPs comes out immediately. At least this time I know where the orientation of the balloons are. So we're going to place a bomb shooter right here, a two zero three bomb shooter. So hopefully this should alleviate the situation a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean like completely. And um, it does, sort of, although uh, my head has been continuous, but uh, that's a shame. But still, um, this should be able to work. And there we go, all five islands have been completed. And we have completed this Odyssey. And 
not sure what's up with that, but uh, hey, there we go. Um, that's it for this week's Odyssey. Quite difficult, but um, it's quite a fun challenge as well. So yeah, that's it for this week. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a like if you like this video. Leave a comment if you have anything else to add. And I'll see you guys in the next video.